Steve Bredding uh, mentioned in his prepared remarks how tree ring data uh, allows you to link together different uh, pieces of wood that, where the tree ring patterns are the same that stretches out 14,000 years. Uh, I don't think that's the case at all. Uh, these are so-called long chronologies. Uh, the oldest tree ring uh, the oldest tr tree growing, bristlecone pine in the White Mountains of California, has 4,600 rings. That's the oldest one, called the Methuselah tree. Uh, they don't use that in this long chronology. And when you examine how they develop these long chronologies, I see some things that aren't very rigorous. First of all, uh, they inject, uh, they say certain rings are missing and they cannot allow it to overlap. They'll take a sequence of rings that match another piece of wood and they'll say, okay, they overlap and that allows us to have a longer sequence. But what they do when they find an old piece of wood, they first radiocarbon date it. And then look and see, and if it's old, then they see maybe we can extend the, the, uh, the long chronology. And if we can, we'll publish a paper. Our laboratory, such as the Dendrochronology Laboratory at the University of Arizona, the biggest one around then we will have the longest chronology. We will get the research dollars when archaeologists want to have something dated by tree rings. And yet they refuse, and I have sat with the director of that laboratory for a half a day, asking him, why won't you let a statistical analysis be done to see if there truly is an overlap? Now, I happen to know from a person who's worked in that lab that they do do what I would consider circular reasoning. They do radiocarbon date the slab of wood before they see if they can find a fit. And they do let the human eye and, and judgment decide, is it a fit? Far better to do it statistically. And a friend of mine has even sent them a computer program to say, well, if you're not going to release the data to us, then please run this computer program. It'll tell you how much confidence you have that there is a fit that allows that long 14,000 year chronology. They haven't done it. Uh, Ferguson, who died about four years ago, uh, he kept his tree ring raw wood locked in a safe. And at a conference of dendrochronologists, they asked, can we see your wood? And he said, no, I'm afraid creationists will get a hold of it. <laughs> That's closed-minded. <laughs>